Hello friends, welcome to Python space. There are many Python courses available on the internet. You might be wondering which is the best course to get started with Python. In this video, we will answer that question. The first course that I recommend for learning Python is a CS50P. If you do not have any programming experience, this is the best course. This course is from Harvard University and this is a completely free course. They discuss the programming concepts and they will implement those programming concepts using Python programming. So if you do not have any programming experience, this is the best one. And moving on to the next one, that is uh, introduction to Python programming from Udacity. This is also a completely free course and it will take approximately five weeks. Here also, if you do not have any programming experience, this is the best course for the beginners. And next, move on to the next one that is uh, Python in four hours from Free Code Camp. This is also one of the best course available for the beginners. This particular course has been watched by more than 30 million people on the YouTube channel. And this is the best on the YouTube currently and you can also check out this course and there are many other courses from free code camp but this is the best one and moving on to the next one that is learn python website so this website is also completely free website and they have the basics section here and you can learn all the basics of python and in case after that if you want to go to data science then you can learn numpy and pandas in case if you want to go a little deep into python then you can cover these advanced tutorials and one more beauty about this website is uh, you can execute the programs within this browser so they will give you a code editor and if you want to write the code and execute it you can do that within the browser let me show you one example here see here so you can simply run this program and see the output and moving on to the next course that is a python course from kaggle if you have a little bit of programming knowledge and if you want to quickly cover the basics of python this is the best course they have seven units here and all these seven units will be can be completed in one or two days if you have a programming experience and here also in Kaggle also you need not to install Python on your system so you can write the code and execute the code within the browser this is also a very uh, good program I mean course for learning Python but if you have a little bit of uh, programming experience it can be anything C, C++, Java, anything then this course will help you a lot in covering the Python basics quickly and moving on to the last course that is uh, Python for data science as the name suggests if you are interested in data science and if you want to learn Python for data science then this is the best course and this is also a completely free course from IBM and you can enroll this course and you can do it it will take approximately 20 hours to complete this course all the courses that I have shared here are completely free and we need not to pay any money sign up for any one of these courses but the important point here is we need to complete the course which means we need to do the course from beginning till the end and we should not leave the course in between generally what happens right we start taking that course and maybe after three days or four days we will come across another course so we assume that okay this is the best course and we will start doing that new course and we will forget about the first course so with this mindset right uh, we won't be able to learn much so whatever the course it can be a book or any course you find on the internet try to complete the course that may not be the best course available on the internet but completing the course will definitely give us the confidence and we will get good knowledge by completing a course. I hope you like this video 
and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter as well if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section